everyone, I'm Lene. Welcome to my channel, Fashionably 50 Something and Beyond. What I have for you today is my entry into hashtag DTDIYFall22. And this is a Dollar Tree DIY collab hosted by Kelly of Kelly Santi Designs and Tony of Creative Chica Hall. And what we are going to do here, we are going to take these witch hats here that are from the Dollar Tree and we are going to paint them and decorate them and then I am going to use this Dollar Tree sign where we are going to take one of these hats and mount it on here and make a little picture. These are the supplies that we are going to use to decorate um, these witch hats. So join me as I start decorating. So what I'm going to do is start painting. I'm going to paint the hats all in black. So we'll get started with that and I'm going to use this Halloween plate for my paint. I thought it was fitting. So I'm just going to take and paint these black and then I will bring you back with me. And as we go, I'm just going to shake a little bit of this glitter onto our hats when the paint is still wet so it can dry on there. And this glitter here is from Hobby Lobby. And here we go with a little glitter. Now what I'm going to do is take this white paint and I'm going to paint this, this sign. I'm just going to paint right over these words. Okay, now we're going to let everything dry and we'll come back when everything is dry and we'll start decorating. While that paint is drying, I wanted to bring you back and show you what I'm doing. I am taking these little rings from the Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting off the ring part. So all we're left with is the spider. So here are the spider rings with the ring part cut off, right there. And then I took these little berries picks and I separated them into individual berries. Here are the orange. Like that and now I'm going to take the purple and I am going to cut them as well. So I just took and cut that binding off so they would be uh, individual. Okay everyone, so now everything is dried and what I have here, I took some ribbon and I measured it around each hat around the hat and I cut it into strips so we have our strips of ribbon we have our berries and we have our spiders and I also have the glue gun that has heated up and we are just going to start gluing our berries and what I'm going to do is just put the glue on the berry and then put the berry there and then the stem will be covered by the ribbon. So we'll just take and put our berries like that. Okay, so now we have our berries on here. Now I'm gonna take the ribbon and we'll just take some glue put it on here and put our ribbon on there. There, and then we'll glue it in the back. So there we have our ribbon and our berries. Now we'll take one of these spider rings and we'll put that on there as well and we'll kind of cover up where this ribbon is kind of bunched. So we're going to just put some glue on our spider. And we're just going to glue that on like that. And here we have one of our hats done, which I think looks really, really pretty. Now we'll make an orange one. So I'll just take our glue, put it on our berries. Okay. 
So there we have an orange one made. Now we have purple and orange. Now I'm gonna take and finish these up and I'll bring you back and show them what they all look like done. I want to show you what I'm going to add to these witch hats as an afterthought. I have these bats that were rings from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna use those to cover up this hole right here. But if you want to use these in or as ornaments, you don't need the bath. So now I'm going to get back to making these and then bring you back when they're done. Hi everyone, welcome back to hashtag DT DIY Fall 22. We just finished making our witch hats. I added some bats onto the holes here so that you could uh, use them other than ornaments. I also wanted to show you this paint stick that I painted. This is just your typical paint stick that you get when you buy paint. Um, I happen to have one at home. I just wanted to show you another way that you can use these hats or the ghosts or the pumpkins, whatever you, uh, des whatever you decorate from Dollar Tree. But I also want to remind you to please visit the channels below in my description box to see what they have out of Dollar Tree products as well. So our, now that our hats are ready and our paint is dry, I am going to glue our hat. I'm going to take one of the orange ones and I'm just going to put some glue on the back. And I'm going to glue our hat onto our little picture here. There. Okay, so here is our sign. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to glue these hats onto this paint stick. And I'm gonna move this out of the way. And then we're gonna take our hats and I'm going to position them on this glue stick like this. And then we will have one left over. And now I'm just going to start gluing these hats onto our glue stick. Okay, so now we have our hats glued onto our paint stick and we have our picture. Now what I'm going to do is break away and bring you back for the final reveal. Okay everyone, here is the final reveal. We have our paint stick with the hats glued on. I like to use that for my coffee station because I have very little room. So I go upward instead of outward when I decorate. And here is our little hat picture. We took a picture from Dollar Tree and we altered it to make this little Halloween picture. And I think it looks really, really cute. Here is a closer look at the paint stick. I just painted it, I used painter's tape to make the stripes. I painted it all black at first and then um, made the stripes with, with painter's tape and then I just painted the orange on there. But I would probably do it the other way around next time. I would put the orange first. That would be easier to cover up. And there I took our extra hat and glued it onto my sign. So here are my Dollar Tree DIYs for today. I would like to thank Kelly of Kelly Santi Designs and Tony of Creative Chica Halls and Crafts for hosting this awesome collaboration. And thank you too for joining me today in this video. Please check out all the other channels in my description box to see what they made out of Dollar Tree products. Thank you so much for joining me everyone. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.